How's it going lads? Uh, Will here. I'm in my room cleaning it, uh, starting out my DVDs and shit. So I'd do a quick update, show you some uh, DVDs I got over the last week or so. Uh, first off, feed, uh, covers and bits, fucking stickers and tears and shit because it's an ex-rental. Um, but the film itself is actually good, I saw it years ago. Um, Basically, the main guy in it is Alex O'Loughlin. He's, a, if you watch the new Hawaii Five-O, he's the main guy in it. He's Australian. Good actor, but um, in this film, he um, basically has a infatuation with fat chicks where he likes to feed them and feed them and feed them until they die, basically. He has his own website set up where he does it live and gives day-to-day -day updates of um, their weight, their fucking heartbeat, everything, and just keeps on filming it live until they die. There's this cop then trying to track him down. Really good film. Um, kind of like Seven, but with fat chicks. Um, yeah, decent. Kind of fucking, kind of sick in parts, but decent film. Um, next off, Red Siren. Not a horror film, but um, for the first half an hour, um, especially since Asia Argento is in it, you actually mistake it for a Dario Argento film, like one of his more modern GLO films like Card Player or Stendhal Syndrome. Um, it has like murders and snuff and shit in it, and basically a little girl goes to the cops saying that her mother, she found a snuff film that her mother made killing her babysitter. Um, so. Then the mother sends her fucking henchmen after the daughter. And Asia Argento is a cop. She's protecting the daughter. This dude, he's an ex-military. He's helping him as well. Um, for the first half of it, it's kind of like a murder mystery. Then the second half is like kind of a European action film, like The Born Identity or the yeah, The Born Identity. You know what I mean. Um, decent enough. As you can see, all the films that I'm getting are dirt cheap because I've got absolutely fuck all money at the moment. Can't afford to buy proper DVDs, so I have to look for cheap DVDs everywhere. Next of all, uh, Robo Geisha. Good flick. Um, I haven't watched all of it. I watched about the first half of it. Um, made by the same guys who did um, Machine, Machine Girl. Um, from what I saw of it, it's fairly decent. You know, same mental fucking shit as Machine Girl. Um, you've got chicks with samurai swords coming out of their armpits, chicks with drills coming out of, and other chicks then bending over and firing ninja thrones stars out of their backsides. Fairly funny. Um, so I'm going to have to watch the second half of it. I'm not sure whether I really like it or not yet, but from what I saw of it, it looked decent. Um, next of all, I picked this up dirt cheap. Um, looks decent. Um, reading the back of it, cello I think it's called. Um, by looking at the back of it, not one of those Asian ghost stories like The Ring or The Grudge. But, um, yeah, fuck, like I said, dirt cheap, so, not bad. I'll get around to watching it sometime. Um, another Asian film, Chanbara Beauty. Um, seems to be something like Samurai Princess, um, but it's got zombies and shit in it. Um, basically, an Asian film with zombies and chicks that look like that. I'll watch it, definitely. Um, looking forward to seeing that. Um, now, next of all, I've been mad to see this film for ages. Um, I don't know why I left it off. Probably crap. I heard mixed reviews about it. Seed, uh, directed by U Ball. Now, he's. U Ball is hit and miss. More miss than hit, I think. Um, yeah, a lot of these films are fairly fucking shit. Like, he's first... 
Yeah. Like alone in the dark. Um yeah, it's fairly like a couple of decent actors like fucking Christian Slater and Stephen Dorff. Uh, it was alright. You know, it could have been fucking ten times better. Um Far Cry, Jesus Christ. Like that dude, he was in um Glorious Bastards. He was brilliant in that. He was just fucking terrible in this. Christ, this is just the script basically. And the fucking the kind of cheesy one liners that he was coming out with were just fucking terrible and just made made him look like a terrible actor and I know he's a decent actor. It's just fucking mm. yeah, crap. Yeah. Blood rain. Mmm. Blood rain. Um check out a terminator. Fucking tasty, but film itself was shit. I mean, like, for a film that had so many good actors like Michael Madsen, Ben Kingsley, Michelle Rodriguez, it was, I don't know, it was cheesy fun, like, but, uh, um, Blood Rain 2, nah, it was fairly fucking crap, fairly crap, and um, that chick, Natasha Malt, uh, or whatever her fucking name is, she's a fucking fine bird, um, no, that film was crap. Funny enough, um, last night I saw a copy of Blood Rain 3, The Third Reich, or The Blood Reich as it's called in Europe. Um, decent film. Um, basically, lesbian vampires, Nazi vampires, some good gore in it. Um, that was actually decent for a U-Ball film. So, like I said... I'm looking forward to seeing this. Heard mixed reviews about it. It's about a serial killer, as far as I know. It's supposed to be really good gore in it. I'll check it out later on. Now, last of all, Rage. The Rage. Been looking forward to seeing this for ages. Um, Robert Kurtzman, um, formerly of K and B Effects, he directed Wishmaster, which was a good cheesy fucking cheesy film from back in the day. Um, Christ, what was it, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah, I enjoyed it when, when I was young. Um, more recently he made Buried Alive. Yeah, Buried Alive, that was a decent film. Um, and not too long ago he made a kind of an action film called Deadly Impact. Sean Patrick Flannery from Boondock Sense was in it. Decent, cheesy fucking action film. But, uh, no, I prefer... Before I'm doing horror films, so the rage, yeah, um, it's about zombie, zombies and shit. Um, according to Don Cascarelli, who directed Phantasm and Bubba Hotep, the rage is a hoot. Loved it. Not since Reanimator has a film been as much bloody fun. So Don Cascarelli says it's decent. It must be fucking watchable. So. Looking forward to that now. More zombie fun for my collection. So, um, that's basically it. I've got more DVDs in the post. Um, should be here soon. I have other stuff that I ordered from like Germany or Austria like two weeks ago. So, I'm gonna leave it off another week or two and then start worrying if it doesn't come. Um, that's basically it. I'll talk to you again. Peace out.